Hey, it's Jeff here from ServiceNow Simple, where we help you understand the ins and outs of ServiceNow, keeping it simple all the way. If you've watched any of our videos, you've heard me say that before. In fact, it's become the tagline for our YouTube channel, ServiceNow Simple, where we're all about answering ServiceNow related questions in a manner that's simple and easy to understand. But what if the ServiceNow related question is, what is ServiceNow? We answer that question in this short video. There's a phrase from an old poem that I love written by Rudyard Kipling. It says, I keep six honest working men. They taught me all I knew. Their names are what and why and when and how and where and who. In this video, let's ask the questions who, what, where, when, why, and how to come to our definition of what is service now. And we'll start with who. Who is service now? It's their employees, over 17,000 people across the globe, and apparently they like their jobs. In 2022, ServiceNow was recognized as one of Glassdoor's best places to work, both in the United States and the UK. In 2021, ServiceNow was one of Fortune Magazine's world's most admired companies, future 50 companies, and 100 best companies to work for. ServiceNow is also its customers. The company targets mid to large enterprises, and its customers include the likes of AT&T, Coca-Cola, Deloitte, Delta, Fruit of the Loom, GE, McDonald's, Microsoft, the NBA, Overstock, Wayfair, and well, you get the point. Who else is ServiceNow? It's Bill McDermott, who currently serves as the CEO. In his former position, Bill was the CEO of SAP, where he grew that company's market value from 39 billion to $156 billion. And finally, ServiceNow is Fred Luddy, founder and current chairman of the company's board of directors. Fred was born in Newcastle, Indiana and attended Indiana University. Fred loved to program. In fact, he loved it so much, he couldn't pull himself away from his keyboard long enough to attend his classes, so he eventually dropped out of college. He eventually worked his way up to becoming the CTO of a company named Peregrine Systems. Unfortunately, that company went bankrupt due to an incident involving accounting fraud, and Fred lost his job and a great deal of his wealth. Okay, that's enough of who. Let's look at when. When is ServiceNow? It all started in 2003, shortly after the bankruptcy at Paragon Systems, when Fred founded a company named GlideSoft. Then, 2006, when the company's name was changed from GlideSoft to what we all know now, ServiceNow. In 2012, ServiceNow became a publicly traded company under the ticker NOW, N-O-W. And in 2018, when ServiceNow was named number one on Forbes Magazine's list of most innovative companies, quite an accomplishment. And 2019, when Bill McDermott is named as the company's new CEO. All right, but why? Why ServiceNow? For that, let's watch a quick clip of one of my favorite skits from the American comedy series Saturday Night Live. Oh, darn it, my computer froze again. You know, it hasn't been the same since that virus attacked the system. Did anyone call Nick Burns? Yeah, I called him about a half hour ago. He told me to go soak my head. I don't like that guy. Well, I tried to run that Norton program to fix it, but it didn't work. And I don't know... That's because Norton Utilities can only detect a virus. It can't repair your hard drive after you download an infected program, Patch Adams. <laughs> I've been a member of IT departments for over 30 years. Maybe I've been that guy. It's embarrassing to say there's a lot of truth in that clip. Recently, I watched an interview where Fred Luddy was asked why he started ServiceNow. What was his real motivation behind the company? And I loved what he said. Fred explained that over the course of his career, he had seen countless situations where information technology and its processes and its staff made really smart business people feel silly and embarrassed, and it infuriated Fred. He set out to fix a problem that exists in many companies across the world. In most cases, IT departments do not produce revenue. In fact, IT is an expense, and oftentimes one of the company's greatest expenses. The IT department exists solely to enable or enhance the ability of the revenue-producing business people. It's a necessary evil. 
To be successful, an exchange must occur between business operations and IT. The exchange of a business problem or opportunity with an IT solution or service. Fred Luddy identified through his experience that that exchange was often frustrating, inefficient, or completely broken. Smart business people had to explain and often re-explain business problems to IT staffers that were normally more interested in the technology than solving the business problem itself. But Fred Luddy dared to dream. What if IT services were designed and delivered in a way that allowed business people to solve the business problems themselves? Is it possible to build a platform where interacting with IT services is intuitive, well-delivered, and dare we say, enjoyable to work with? Let's outsource the entire IT department to the cloud and say goodbye to the Nick Burns IT guys of the world. ServiceNow is your company's IT department in the cloud. That's its why. That's its reason for being. What a great idea, but how? How ServiceNow? The Now platform is a cloud-based application platform as a service, or APAAS, that provides the infrastructure, platform, and application and workflow required to support business IT needs. Business people can connect to and utilize the platform from their PCs or mobile devices. ServiceNow's infrastructure includes all of the compute resources. It also includes the security, both physical and virtual, secured via multiple technologies and continually audited and certified by third-party security organizations. Redundancy and failover are also taken care of by the platform. With redundancy built into every layer from devices and network resources to paired data centers that span the globe. Data backups are also included with four daily backups each week and six days of differential backups per week. The platform is underpinned by a single enterprise-wide data model and database. It comes out of box with a robust data model and set of tables that can support most IT functions. The platform also supports the ability to create your very own custom workflows and applications as needed, all running atop a single source of data and seamlessly integrated into the platform. Finally, the platform includes an amazingly broad range of applications and workflows, pre-built and ready to use. ServiceNow categorizes application functionality based upon the type of workflow being supported. The categories include IT workflows, employee workflows, customer workflows, and creator workflows. Those categories are then subdivided into subcategories targeting the specific needs of the company. This slide shows the number of applications in parentheses besides each of the subcategories. It's a lot of applications. And remember, if you can't find an out-of-the-box application that supports your business, business's unique requirements, you can build one yourself right within the platform. So that's an overview of how ServiceNow works. Let's end by looking at where. Where is ServiceNow? The company is based out of Santa Clara, California, but has offices and employees spread across the globe including in North America, Latin America, Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Asia Pacific, and Japan. The data centers that support the platform and its redundancy are spread throughout Asia Pacific, Japan, Europe, the Middle East and Africa, North America, and South America. So that's it. Who, what, where, when, why, how, service now. Now, let's attempt a single sentence definition, an answer to the question, what is service now? ServiceNow is a software company based in Santa Clara, California, founded by Fred Luddy in 2003 to solve problems large enterprises face with traditional IT delivery by providing a robust, simple to use cloud-based environment in which business people can solve the business problems themselves. That's ServiceNow Simple's working definition. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and we'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to the channel. We would also love to hear your definitions of what is service now. Maybe we forgot something or we can improve ours, but remember, keep it simple. Service now simple. <laughs>